American immigrants. They passed through these waters on their way to Ellis Island and a new life. By the time they reached New York's busy harbor, they had already spent weeks at sea, usually on the small, overcrowded steerage decks of massive steamships. They were often excited, exhausted, and anxious about what lay ahead. As they neared the end of their journey, these immigrants were greeted by a number of overwhelming sights. Many of these same sights are visible to you today. Look at the Manhattan skyline. Imagine the awe these new arrivals must have felt as the city's grand vista emerged above the waves. For many, New York's landscape was like nothing they had ever seen before. Finally, the lumbering steamship docked at New York City's bustling port and passengers were checked by immigration officials before being allowed into the U.S. Prior to 1892, most immigrants passed through Castle Garden, a former military installation now located in Battery Park at the tip of Lower Manhattan. Over the years, it has served as a theater, an opera house, and an aquarium. It is now a National Park Service site known as Castle Clinton. When the federal government took over the processing of immigrants in the 1890s, a new receiving station was constructed on Ellis Island. By the beginning of the 20th century, thousands reached the island's shores every day.